we'd obviously hope that we would see an overall benefit across uh, the whole patient population that we studied. That isn't the case. Overall, we see no benefit. Um, but what, we, what is obvious is that there's a marked divergence of effect based on age and the menopausal status of these women. So the older women are gaining really quite important uh, benefit in terms of better survival, fewer recurrences. Those recurrences are fewer at all sites of the body. Whereas younger patients are getting no benefit whatsoever. In fact, they're possibly doing a little bit worse. So this means we've got to think again about the biology under, underpinning the effects of these bone-targeted drugs. I think what we've learned probably is that they don't have direct anti-cancer activity, they don't make chemotherapy work better, but they do seem to work on the bone, on the bone marrow microenvironment when there are low levels of female reproductive hormones around, which clearly happens once a woman goes through the menopause. This population where we saw the benefit, although it was only one third in our clinical trial, actually in the whole po population of women with breast cancer is more than half of uh, of all patients. So this is a really important group uh, and, and often for these older patients there are fewer options for them. Uh, we need to remember that this is a very easy dr drug to receive, relatively few side effects, so the benefits can be obtained for relatively little uh, toxicity or, or, or problems. What well, the Azure subgroup analysis of patients who are postmenopausal showed is that there is uh, about 30% uh, reduction in relapse of breast cancer and also a reduction in breast cancer death. So I believe it's exactly those patients well into postmenopause um, who could consider uh, adjuvant bisphosphonate treatment. You know, we have to uh, be very careful in actively recommending uh, off-label use of drugs because there is a purpose to the regulatory process. On the other hand, we do have uh, uh, prospectively um, uh, evaluated patient subsets, huge trial meanwhile, demonstrating a significant benefit uh, in certain subgroups of patients. So I would understand the patient who finds herself in one of these subgroups and actually opts for adjuvant bisphosphonate treatment.